you my beautiful, gorgeous chickens. In this video, we're going to be going over a concept that you need to know. You must know it for the SAT math section. It is called proportionality of circles. And it is just so cute that I am in this circle for you uh, today. So when we're talking about proportionality of circles, we're not talking about two circles being proportionate. It's not the same as two triangles being proportionate. Instead, we're talking about how a sector, it's like a slice inside of a circle, is proportionate to the whole circle. When it comes to a circle, there are a few things we can measure, and we can measure the perimeter, or in the circle, that's called the circumference. So for a full circle, that is called the circumference, that's purple. But for a sector, we have um, a circumference of a sector. So this, these two lines, and then also an arc length. So guess what? An arc length is proportionate to a sec, uh, is an arc length is proportionate to a circumference. So the arc length divided by the circumference is going to equal to the area of the sector to the area of the whole circle. And it is also going to be proportionate to, or going to equal to, this central angle divided by the whole angle in the circle, which we know if we're measuring this in degrees, then it's going to be 360, the total number of degrees. And if we're measuring this in radians, the total number of radians is going to be 2 pi radians. I need you to know that these two are very much um, dependent on each other. They're very proportionate. So let me walk you through the formula now. Minimize my face. Ooh, I drew something. It's art. Um, so here, the area of a slice over the area of a circle is equal to the length of the arc, just this little portion, just this, divided by the circumference. I can't say that this is exactly how you spell circumference. I was doing this. <laughs> Maybe this is not spelled correctly. Um, but you get what I'm talking about. And then uh, measure of the inner angle divided by 360 or 2 pi if you are, are working in radians. Please, please, please heed or listen to this training. And I'm going to show you how to apply this to a simple example on the SAT math.